Hi guys, this is V. So we are going to continue working on adding um, some shapes and stripes to our kente cloth art. So I'm going to get some different colors this time. So I'm going to use some different colors just because I haven't used them. So I'm going to pick red and I think I'll do blue for my first two colors. So if you remember, we start off and we need our scissors and blue, okay, and a pencil <clears throat> to draw those lines. So first thing you are going to do is you are going to draw your first line. So you don't have to do the same lines I do. They can be different, okay? So I'm going to start off and I'm actually going to make a wavy line this time. So I just do a wavy line. You can do a straight line, a zigzag line, any kind of line that you want. And I'm going to cut out my wavy line out of my red paper. All right. So I'm going to put that and I'm going to turn it over because I just want to see what they look like before I glue them down. So I like that. I'm going to leave that like that. And I think I'm going to cut a, another, I think I'm going to do another wavy line on this red piece of paper. So I'm going to do another wavy line on the red paper. So I drew it first and then I cut it out. And I'm just twisting my scissors as I slowly cut up, okay? So I'm going to put that right there. And then I think I'm going to cut a zigzag, or draw a zigzag line, rather. So zigzag. I didn't do any straights this time. If you guys want to do a straight line, you are more than welcome. And then just put that there. And notice I'm lining up my short edge of my paper with the short edge, the short of my paper with the edge of my black paper. So I like this a lot. I think I'm gonna move this one over to here and kind of line it up here and put this one over here. And I think I'm gonna add some blue stripes to this one. It's a lot of red, there wasn't another color. So I'm going to draw a straight line, right? Because we haven't done a straight line yet. And just cut down, okay? I'm gonna put my, and I'm just laying these down. I'm not gluing them in yet. Lay my blue piece down. And then I think I'm going to do a wavy line a big one this time. So this, that was kind of a smaller one. So I'm doing a bigger one this time. And nothing's glued down, so it's okay if things kind of move around on you. That's a-okay. Oh, let me get my hand in there. All right. Sorry, guys, I'm at school. So I'm gonna flip it over so you can't see my pencil marks. I'm gonna put that right there. So those look pretty good. I think I'm going to space these out because I want to put some shapes in here. So I'm going to leave this just like this. I like it. I am going to take my blue paper and add it up here. So I'm kind of trying to place all of my paper shapes before I glue them down. So I'm going to just cut. I did a zigzag. Kind of feeling in a zigzag wavy line mood today. Okay, and I'm going to actually fit that one in between here. I like the way that kind of looks. And if they overlap a little bit, that's okay. It's mine do. All right, so I, this looks good. So I'm going to start to glue. If you guys remember, i move this out of the way a little bit. When we glue, and I still have lots of paper left, so that's okay. We're going to save that. When we glue, you want to move that off there. You want to turn your shape over, you want to hold it down with one finger, and then put your glue all the way over the whole shape there. So it gets covered with glue. And then I'm going to put this down, 
and hold for 10 seconds. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And th and that little bit of glue will dry. That's not a big deal. So I'm going to flip my shape over, coat it with glue. Your hands are going to get sticky. I'm using my paper towel to keep my table clean. Line up short edge with the edge of my paper. Our prayers may be excused to the bosses. Again, I'm at school. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And I work to my next shape. And again, flip it over. Take my glue stack, go all the way along. Here, and then, and I'm gonna leave some space here, right here. All right, so one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And I'm gonna move to these, oh, he didn't wanna stay down. These three shapes over here. So if you need to pause the video, cause I'm gluing faster than you do, that's fine, right? That's why we have the video. It's why I pause when we have Zoom. So don't feel like you have to go as fast as I do. So I'm going to get the whole shapes covered. Ooh, my hands are so sticky. <laughs> Peel that off. And then I'm going to line up this edge with the top edge. Okay. And then one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Press that down. I'm going to grab my blue piece because I like that red and blue pattern. Get some of this extra glue that I have here. And then just coat this. You make sure you get all the little edges. Um, just because, like, when you have the little corners and stuff, they um, they sometimes will pull off. So you want to make sure you get those. And I'm going to pull that up. And then line up my edge with the edge of my paper. And this overlaps a little, which is totally fine. Oh, I'm going to straighten that guy out. He was a little wobbly. Straighten that guy out. Okay. And then I'm going to do my next. Oh, I didn't hold. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. I didn't hold. Oh, and if you have one of your shapes that he doesn't want to move, he's overlapping a little. That's okay. Sometimes you can slide them over if the glue's not dry yet, but I think my glue's too dry. And then I'm going to do my last kind of stripe for today. But I'm going to show you guys um, some stuff you can add. So I'm just going to line it up again with my little edge of my paper. And then one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. All right. So. We can start, we're going to finish this next section next time. So we're just going to leave it. So you should have about three quarters done. So if you look, guys, I have a half and then a half of a half pretty much done. So I wanted to show you what we can uh, start to add. So what you guys can do is I'm going to take these triangles. So notice I have these zigzag triangles left over. So I'm going to actually kind of cut them in a really thin, thin, thin line. Okay, so they're super thin, and you're like, this see, that's still a stripe. Watch, I'm going to cut triangle shapes from them. So I have these two, this is kind of a diamond. So I have two triangle shapes. So I'm going to figure out where I want these. So I'm going to kind of start to play around with where I want to place them. Ooh, that would look really cool there. So I think definitely there. Like, it didn't even need, didn't hesitate, right? So... We're going to put another layer of paper on top of some of our stripes. And you ha don't have to do it with, very sticky, with all of your shapes. What you might want to, or stripes, but you might want to do it with a couple. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So that looks really cool. Second graders may be excused. <clears throat> and then... Add another one right here. So that one looks awesome. I love that. Also, girls on the front. And then this is kind of a diamond shape. So I'm actually just going to cut that little edge off and use this diamond shape. Kind of, I think I'm going to put it like right here. So I'm going to take my glue, 
So you might notice some of your scraps, kind of this was a little scrap piece, and I'm gonna do the same with this guy. I'm gonna create another little diamond shape. Ooh, very sticky fingers today. So I'm just gonna draw a diamond kind of in the corner of this paper. And so if you don't want to use a diamond, you would rather use a circle or a square or a rectangle, you can do that too. So I'm gonna use a diamond and just glue and then place it right there. Easy way to make some rectangles. Okay, you can take your paper. Oops, there we go. Okay, guys, you can take your paper, and draw a strip. You draw one thin, skinny stripe, just like I did right there. Cut a strip out. So you cut your stripe, right? You have a long, skinny stripe. Now watch, you're just going to cut it into sections. And you've got rectangles. And it's okay if they're not perfect or aren't exactly the same. That's okay. Kind of made them the best I can. All right, so I'm going to take my glue, and I'm just using my finger now. Flip it, and I'm going to put them on the red because I think they're going to look really cool together. So you guys can make some rectangles in another ooh, color. Ooh, stick down there, buddy. He does not want to stick. All right, Ooh, and we're gonna twist him so he's a little straighter. Oh, he does not want to stick right. There we go, and we're gonna grab this one. And right there, so I'm gonna hold one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So you can see I've just used some simple shapes. So just zigzag cutting, wavy line cutting, straight cutting, okay? Use some triangle scraps that I had. And this, my little rectangles, those are all straight. So I think I'm going to add some purple rectangles. So I'm going to use the same thing again. So we're going to draw a little, little bit of a wobbly line. I'm going to draw a straight line. And then just cut straight up. Okay. And then we're going to cut our little rectangle pieces. So little rectangles. And I'm going to show you guys how to make triangles too. So we got our little rectangle pieces. And you don't want to make like confetti. You don't want to make it so tiny. Pretty much as small as the tip of your finger is as small as you want to make it. Not super tiny. So I'm going to work and put some purple on some of my red here. And you don't have to use all of them, all the shapes that you make. You can use some of the diff some different ones. You can leave some of them out. All right, so that looks pretty good, right? All right, so I'm gonna show you guys how to, a quick way to make a little triangle or smallish triangles. So again, we're gonna start with a straight line. Okay, so straight, cut that to make a strip of paper, just like we've been doing. All right, just like that. And then watch this magic. So I'm going to start in a corner. So I'm going to start right here. So I'm going to start in the corner and cut diagonally. What? And now I'm going to start in the corner and cut diagonally. What? So I'm just cutting at an angle. So if you cut this way, you'll get a thin stripe. So you're going to cut the opposite way. Think of it like a V. So this side of the V goes this way. This side of the V goes that way. And if you just want to draw your triangles, you can do that too. You don't have to use this way to make them. But it's kind of cool. And again, they're not totally all even. They're kind of different, which is fine. So again, just going to take my glue, lay my, my little triangle piece, and I think I'm going to put them right here because I think purple and yellow look really pretty together. So I'm going to have a little point over and get this one right here. And then oh, get that little guy out of the way. Little guy. Little guy. And this one right here. And it's okay if they touch or they're not 100% even. And I'm just going to pull the whole thing down. One, two, three, four, 
five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. But you can see I started adding some really cool shapes to my stripes. So what you want to get done is about, oops, move him out of the way. He doesn't belong there. You want to get done about three quarters of your stripes and then start adding some shapes either to the black space of the construction paper on um, kind of like the background or you can start adding shapes to your stripes. Either one is fine with me. So remember, happy cutting, not too tiny pieces. We don't want confetti, kind of small, but not too, super tiny. And then um, to glue your shapes down. And if you lose a couple shapes, you guys should have plenty of paper <clears throat> to make more. I can't wait to see your beautiful Kente Cloth inspired art. All right, guys. I hope this was helpful. Have a great rest of your day. Bye.